So yeah, full disclaimer for the rest of this video, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just someone who enjoys makeup and who was fortunate enough to get my hands on these. And I'm super excited about it. What's up, sexies? Welcome to my bedroom floor. So I just uploaded my sustainable haul yesterday and I got a couple of requests for people to do like a tutorial on my eye look. Um, and it's really simple, but I want to do it anyways because I love Lemonhead LA and I'm gonna capitalize off this opportunity to talk about them more and put glitter on my face. Because I haven't put makeup on for like five days now, just because like I can't be bothered. But here I am, full face baby. I'm gonna show you two different looks. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first off, we're gonna talk about this company and the glitters that I specifically own. I found out about this brand through Euphoria. I mentioned them briefly in my fine line video, but the makeup artist on Euphoria did use these glitters in a couple of looks throughout the season. I found out about them through them and then I started following them and then they came out with a euphoric, euphoria inspired set. This is Lemonhead LA. These are the products that I own. They sell on their website Space Jam, Glow Jam, and Space Paste, and they introduced a new product called their Prisms, I think, um, which is like a loose glitter, which is a first for them. But yeah, basically these are little potted, um, what did I just, glitter paste. <laughs> so this is the set that I have. This is the Euphoric Glitter Pro Squad um, in the minis. So I'm gonna tell you guys about the shades. So we'll go through Space Paste first. Um, there's five space paste and two glow jams in this set and I have written down when they were used if they were used on the show So yeah, I'll give you all that info. <laughs> so this is called Houdini. This is a five. These are all five milliliters of product um, It is basically like a little iridescent white blue purple um, glitter Rue and Jules both wore this on the show. And we have Mulholland Drive, which was used on Maddie I believe in the Halloween episode super pretty like rosy pink. I really like this one. Next we have Private School. This is like a little turquoisey blue glitter. This was used on Maddie and Cassie. I believe Cassie in the Halloween episode and Maddie for cheerleading looks. If I have that correct, I don't know. And then the last one used on the show is this one called Groupie, which is the one that I used in my previous video. It's like this dark, I don't know, kind of like a greeny tinted silver. This was used on Rue in the show. And then the last space paste in the set is called Silver Lake. Uh, this is inspired by Nate's character, so this was not used on the show, but it was kind of formulated afterwards, um, taking inspiration from the character. And the case is the same with the two glow jams in here. So these are glow jams. They're basically like the neon colored glitters. Very similar formulation. It might be the same formulation, I don't know. I did actually like for fun a couple months ago like do my research on this and i honestly kind of forgot so this pink one is called holly weird and then this neon yellow glittery one is called electric days and these are both inspired by jewels so all seven of these come in this lemon la mesh pouch and it comes with a little um uv light little keychain which i think is really cute and really handy this is not good lighting but i'll try and get some b-roll of this but it really, you can kind of tell, it just like really illuminates the colors and it makes the glitters look so beautiful. So this is really helpful and really cute to include in this. Yeah, so five milliliters of product in each of these little jars, which I honestly think is the perfect amount because like I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing with most of this. I just kind of like try my best and hope that it turns out all right. And that's kind of where I am with this. I've worn, I think all of these except electric days. So I've owned these for like three months now and even me, I've gotten some good use out of it so far. I think if I had any more product, I'd probably go crazy and never use it and feel guilty. <laughs> but I feel like this is the perfect size. And I understand $75 is a lot, but in comparison to what the full size or what this could actually cost, I think it's a really good deal as long as you're gonna use them. This, I believe, all has a $95 value. So $75 is pretty good, um, in my opinion. And they make me really happy because I'm, a simple girl who enjoys simple things and glitter is one of those so i'm really excited so let's do this little eye look and also ignore if the lighting changes it is very rainy and cloudy outside and i have like one light on me so just ignore it it's fine so i'm gonna tell you right now there are much more professional and in detail tutorials on lemonhead la's instagram 
I highly, highly, highly suggest that you guys watch those if you would like to purchase these and just in general if you want to know how they work. They're saved on their IGTVs. I watched this one that Megan did. Um, it was probably like 35 minutes, but I enjoyed it so much. Like it honestly went by so fast. She basically did little examples of how to put on the glitters and then how to take them off as well, which is really helpful and gave little tips on application and removal and all that. So super, super helpful. And I appreciate the brand so much and their attention to what their customers want and need and would like to see. So yeah, hella kudos. It's, they're honestly so helpful. I love them. God, I just love this company so much. So this is my attempt after like, I watched the explanation video, like little tutorial. And at this point, I'm kind of just um, remembering what I can and trying to apply that in how I apply the product. So is this gonna be perfect? No, but I'm having fun and it's fine. I'll live. <laughs> It'll get the job done. So that's what matters. So I'm gonna take Groupie, the same color that I used um, for my last video and this little Morphe brush, which I got in a brush set. I don't know what brush it is. There's no like, number on it um but it's pretty small so here we go basically i just like scoop up some product and i kind of like lightly brush on a shape because what megan said in her video was it's important that you don't try and like brush it like it's a like, normal glitter you know um or like a pigment you kind of have to set it and then try and move it so you pack on your shape and then you like move it in a single direction. So I'm gonna try and do that right now. <laughs> Honestly, it'll be a miracle if I can get it to look like it did in my video because most looks that I do, I only ever do once and never try and recreate them ever again because of the fear that I won't get it right. <laughs> so you're lucky I'm doing this for you guys. So what I learned through playing with these glitters is that it's okay to be messy because you can just fix it up later. Um, so I'm, I don't try to be too perfect about it. So it's more concentrated towards the end. And when I bring it into this like inner corner area, I kept the glitter a little bit more sparse, but it's still there. So you do one line on like the upper part of your eyeball and then you basically connect it. So I go from the outer corner and I just, top upwards okay so i have a general shape on there right now and what we're advised to do when you don't like a certain way that it turns out is you can either take the brush that you used um, to apply the glitter and just go the opposite direction and kind of flake it off or you can do the same with a spoolie so i have this little like eyebrow brush with a spoolie on the end so i'm just going to use that and you just shape it up This shit is powerful, okay? I I think you're supposed to have like a little makeup wipe or something to wipe it on. I just wiped the glitter off on my leggings. Queen of being stupid, it's fine. I thinned it out a little bit too much, so I kind of want to add a little more. Yeah, so it's literally just go back and forth until you're satisfied with the way it looks. Okay, honestly, I'm satisfied with this. I think it's cute. And yeah, it's honestly, it's it's that simple. <laughs> you just pat the product on, maybe brush a little bit after it's set, after it's dried. And then if you're unhappy with it, you take a little spoolie and brush it off. And if there's fallout, you can do the same to get it off your face. And it's really, it's honestly, this product is so user-friendly. I'm not gonna lie. I hate working with glitter, like loose glitter pigments. Um, just cause I feel like there's so much fallout and that's what always kills me. I'm gonna do, I've been debating this. I think I'm just gonna do one eye and one eye just to save my product and to save time. So another look that I've done with these glitters, which I usually do, this is the first time that I did like a sort of graphic eyeliner with these. Um, what I usually do, uh, it's raining, <laughs> hold on. Okay, as I was saying, what I usually do when I use these glitters is I'll apply them in the inner corner to like any look or maybe like as a halo eye, something like that. But my favorite way to wear them thus far has been just covering the whole eyelid. <laughs> so that's a couple times. I think I wore my eyeshadow like that on like Christmas Eve, New Year's, things like that. Because it's a really easy and simple way to like spice up your eyeball. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and use Silver Lake to do that on my left eye. So again, just like scoop up some product. 
and ooh, and don't drop it on your shirt like an idiot so honestly you don't need a lot of product because it kind of looks like less than it is but once you spread it out can i stop fucking dropping this <laughs> see that's what i get for getting too much product so basically using the same method of just pressing it and then slowly like dabbing it or dragging it out um this is what usually works for me i'm not a very like neat and perfectionist person especially when it comes to my makeup so it's never like perfectly on there but i just kind of like try to get a decent shape and then fill it in as i can it's just so pretty it's so pretty one time i literally put this on my eyes to go to the movies and it was a blast was I sitting in a dark room for two hours? Yes. But did I feel fabulous doing it? Yes. So this is essentially what I go for when I use these glitters like this. Okay, so I just threw on some mascara. Um, didn't really go on very well on this eyeball because I suck. But this is basically, this is all I got. <laughs> I highly, highly, highly suggest, like I said, you guys checking out their Instagram because there are some actual makeup artists and just honestly really creative people who are always doing amazing looks with these products and i'm gonna insert some here just because they are stunning and i love even just seeing it and i want to force myself to try something like this eventually so maybe i'll do that for a video one day maybe not let me know if i should i'm gonna talk to you guys about a couple dupes that i own or just at least similar products um which are all the same brand <laughs> these are ColourPop glitterly obsessed little potted glitter paste i have them in shades puffin starfire and omg i'm wet this is from the bretman rock um collection collaboration i got these like towards the end of last summer they're really fun they're like very similar products um i just say that the quality is a little different i'll show you guys like comparison swatches so i have Mulholland Drive and Starfire. This is Starfire, this is Mulholland Drive. They're like similar, but not the same colors. Um, but you can tell if it'll focus on my fingers. Okay, it literally refuses to focus. But um, Lemon Head LA is definitely more creamy of a consistency. Glitters are more saturated on my finger. These ones for the ColourPop are finer and it's more watery in consistency and there's more like sparse clumping with the ColourPop product but I still believe that they're really good products I use this shade Starfire a lot when I just do looks like this I'll just kind of grab it and like plop it on there it's pretty similar application process that was an accidental lie um, I actually apply the ColourPop glitters with my fingers I think that just works best you can do the same with Lemonhead LA but different effects except these are more of like long wear glitters so it's a specific method of getting them off uh whereas these are kind of just glitters so you can wipe them off these can be wiped off as well but i don't know just different i believe these costed me i did not look it up somewhere around like six dollars seven dollars per pot and this is 0.53 ounces of product i don't really know where that compares i'll put that here but <laughs> definitely more product but i think the quality is very different um but i definitely recommend these if you are on more of a budget and if you would still like to play with fun little glitters like this i think it honestly depends on the consumer and what you want and how often you're gonna wear the products and all that so up for personal weighing <laughs> but yeah that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I didn't just ramble about glitter for way too long for no reason. <laughs> um, either way, I had a blast. I really, if I haven't said it enough in this video, I love these products. And I hope that you guys, if you want and if you can, will check them out, at least follow these brands and use them as a source of inspiration, if anything. So yeah, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. All of my socials will be linked down below. Subscribe if you're not already. If you would like to, always feel free to comment or message me anything. And if you have any specific um, video ideas or things that you'd like to see me do, I am more than open to suggestions because I have more free time on my hands in this current situation. So yeah, let me know. Period, okay. <laughs> Stay safe and please wash your hands. Take care of yourselves, okay? Bye, I love you. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day.